Drummers, hope you're well. Right, one minute drum lesson. Here we go. Side stick technique. You know what I like to do is give the stick a pinch about one third of the way up, place my hand right in the center of the snare drum, uh, spread out my ring, uh, middle finger, ring finger, and little finger, lift the stick up with the butt end of the stick, uh, the handle of the stick staying on the drum head, and then you do a thing that your drum teacher tells you normally not to do, which is press down. So you really push it down into the rim of, of the drum and get a really big sound. Although this is a sound associated with like lighter styles of music, or at least, at least lighter sections in songs. I always feel like you've still got to get this to project. It can so easily get lost in a mix. Final top tip with this would be leave a gap here as well between the, the handle end of the stick and the rim of the drum. If you go right to the rim like this, what happens is at the other end, at the business end, you kind of end up getting more of a weedy sound because the thin part of the stick there, you see that hits the drum, whereas you really want the fat bit right there to contact the drum, about there. You seeing this? That was one minute drum lesson, side stick technique. Hi drummers, hope you're well. Right, one minute drum lesson, here we go. Trashy or half open hi-hat. When you see this notated on the music, you're gonna lift up your hi-hat foot a little bit. The cymbals will separate and you're gonna get that lovely, trashy, massive, rocky, sizzly hi-hat sound. It's brilliant for rock music. It's a classic sound for rock, but actually in any style of music, when you're playing a hi-hat groove and you need a big emotional lift, it's a great option. That was your one minute drum lesson, trashy hi-hat. Hope you're well, right, one minute drum lesson, here we go. Shake it off, Taylor Swift. I actually think this is one of the most memorable and instantly recognizable drum beats from the last few years of pop music, and it goes. So it's a two bar phrase that goes round and round. It actually has one note difference. The last note of all is different. A first time round the two bar phrase and the second time it goes. Second time. So the first time round you play the hi hat at the very end, the second time you play the kick. Here it is one last time. More details on my YouTube today, check that out. See you soon. Hi drummers, happy well, right, one minute drum lesson, here we go. All time classic drum intro, Commodore's Brick House, and it's gonna go. Brilliant little fill that you can use all over the place for funk, but for rock as well, and man, just do your own thing with it, but it's a brilliant, brilliant one. The phrasing is, ba 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 so ba Played around the kit as, but the coolest part is the little lead in which is on the and of beat four at the bar which is before that right right left left play those little bounce doubles so Obviously one minute drop lesson, Brick House.